<laughs> Can you elaborate on that, Cornelius? On what? On how you felt when they denied your application. How I felt? What kind of question is that? I felt betrayed. Why betrayed? I'm perfect for the job. Just because I don't meet some pre-subscribed definition of a model employee. My father, his father, should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> But a doc can do the same job. <laughs> Warner, let's acknowledge that Cornelius has a unique and beautiful gift. <laughs> Don't you forget it! Seeing through cardboard? What good is that? Well, at least I can see through all kinds of cardboard. You can only lift Vic Pins. The floater. Great name. Last time I had a floater flush. Okay, boys. Relax. It's telekinesis, box boy. What about Big Lifter? That's a good name. Very accurate. Come on, man. That's copyrighted. Excuse me. Can I help you? Is this the, uh, inadequate thing? Unusual, please, or special, if you prefer. Please, sit. Perhaps we should just start over from the beginning. Would you like to start by introducing yourself? I call myself the lid. Well, we all go by our real names here. Ooh. Would you mind if I don't say? So, what do you do? It's okay, man. We're all friends here. This is a circle of trust. I instinctively know what lids go on soda cups. I see through cardboard, man. Cardboard. I can levitate big pens. And I can program any DVD player, VCR, stereo system you can throw at me. Even the Korean stuff. They call me! I call myself Supreme Sequence! Pretty cool, huh? I think we're going backwards here. We need to get away from these names. Is that even a superpower? Well, but you haven't seen me in action. Well, my gift is a bit more practical, isn't it? I, I mean, a dog couldn't program a VCR. Oh, that's a blow, man. Are we a team here or what? A team. Cornelius, this is not a team. This is a support group where people with unusual abilities can gather and discuss the issues that confront them Daily. There's that. Plus, let's not forget that Batman has no superpowers, and he's the world's greatest detective. Joshua, Batman isn't real. I, I think we should be called the Capables, because we're all capable of unusual things. But you couldn't pass the post office test. They should have made an exception. I could have seen through the boxes to the to the crack and and the, and the cocaine and and the crack cocaine. They, they should have made. What if they wrapped it in foil? I guess they would have needed a dog for that. You don't want to be exploited anyway, man. But they would pay me. I'm glad you're expressing your 
disappointment, Cornelius. Wait a second there, Doc. If that is your real name. Exactly what is your superpower? I don't really like to discuss it, Joshua. I find that it hasn't led to too many positive experiences. Oh, come on! I wasn't here when you said it before! Go ahead, Doc. No one believes you anyway. That's true. Thank you, Cornelius. Well... Joshua, I can correctly interpret the Bible. The Bible? Both parts? Yes, I'm afraid. Doc! That's incredible! Do you have any idea what that could do? That get me beat up, repeatedly, thrown out of divinity school, slaughter my love life. I've got more. He's been persecuted for his beliefs. Now float it, Warner. I've told you before, they're not my beliefs, they're real. And next he's going to be telling us about his brother. I've learned not to engage in that particular discussion. And that's what I want to highlight to all of you. Your powers are only as useful as you make them. Be practical. For example, Warner. If you were to drop your pen, you don't even have to get up. Yeah, but I don't use a bic at work. I go with a paper mate. Medium point. Black. It's got a good glide. Well, that's not the point. Focus on the practical. Like fighting crime. No, not fighting crime. Look, I really hate to interrupt the flow of the meeting here, but I need your help. 